Okay, now coming back to uh, non-reality, well, physics. <laughs> we have been talking about state properties. And one of them was this. Enthalpy. So there should be in any chemical reaction, H for the reactant and H for the product. So the heat transferred during any reaction, if I call it Q, must be enthalpy of the product minus enthalpy of the reactant. You say transfer, you mean to the surroundings like lost? Lost, given off, or absorbed if it's an exothermic reaction or an endothermic reaction, depending on whatever that Q may be. Lost, added, needed. Okay, so now let me define two very important enthalpy considerations. Actually, I'm going to put this in a box. So I have to define two things. One, enthalpy of reaction. And number two, enthalpy of combustion. This is generally written as HC, and this is generally written as HR. <clears throat> okay. Let me define this. This is defined as the difference between the H product and H reactant at the same state for a complete reaction, for the same state, um, usually considered at one ATM, and 25 degrees Celsius, room temperature. Whereas the enthalpy of combustion is defined as the heat released during a steady flow combustion process when one kilogram, which is equal to one kilomole of fuel, is burnt completely. Now, here's a problem. Can I say one kilomole? Mm-hmm. Um, there's a problem. What's the problem? Excellent. So what do we do? More oxidizer. Oh, what if we can't do that? We now have to define one more thing. <laughs> so now we have to define something more. And that something more is called enthalpy of formation. Take a while, guess. I thought you were going to like switch up the colors. Nope. To account for that, 
fact that no combustion is ever complete. And this is now defined as the enthalpy of a substance at a specified state due to its chemical composition. Okay, so for all, so this is the only one that's important, right? Well, I mean, they're all important, but this is important for real life. So usually you will see this written as that. Instead of just HF, it'll have a zero and a bar on the top. Why do you think it has a zero? That's that's meant to describe the standard condition. And what is the standard condition? One ATM and 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, I just have to tell you guys about exothermic and endothermic reactions. So an exothermic reaction is what kind of reaction? In which heat is? Given away. Given away. In this case, the enthalpy of formation must be negative. For an endothermic reaction, what's an endothermic reaction? It requires heat to proceed, right? And in that case, your enthalpy of formation must be positive. So in order to account for both of these situations, engineers use a term called heating value of fuel. Which is defined as the amount of heat released when a fuel is burnt completely in a steady flow process and the products are returned to the state of the reactants. In other words, heating value of fuel is nothing other than H C or absolute value of the product minus the reactant. Dun, 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 dun. 